We're praising our circumstances. Yeah. Boasting about our situations. Come on. Boast about the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Boast means bragging. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you bragging about the one that you serve? Uh -huh. yes. Are you boasting about the one that woke you up this morning? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, somebody help me. Come on. Hallelujah. Come with me, Jesus. Come on now. This for the this for the house. Yes, sir. My, 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 this for the house. Yes, sir. Because it's time for us to shake some things. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And I've been in the seat and Lord, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, come on, somebody. I want to go to the next level. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I don't want to just sit soaking sour. Come on. I, I don't want to just come to church every Wednesday, Monday. Oh, something got to be yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, yes, sir. Come with me to Revelations. There's got to be a change. Yes, sir. There's yes, sir. got to be a change. Things cannot stay the same if you're serving a God that's moving from faith to faith yes. to glory to glory. How, come on, somebody. How can you be sitting soaking sour when we serve a God that moves from faith to faith, glory to glory, yes. taste and see that yes. the Lord is good. Jeremiah yes. said, it's like fire, shut up yes. in my bones. I tried to be quiet, but the yes. word of God got me stirred up. Yes. How can you sit sour on oh, Consuming fire. Yes. When you touch fire, it burns. Yes. He's a consuming fire. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Come on. Woo. All right. Yes, Lord. Who alive this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, praise him. Yeah. 
from there. Uh, nobody will know your name. Uh, what can you do right now uh, if you the living? Uh, the living, only the living can praise the Lord. Uh, I said, man, uh, what I realize, uh, I can drive the nicest things, uh, have the finer things. Uh, it all will fade away a uh, hundred years from now. Uh, nobody will know. Uh, nobody will know. Uh, but the word of God says uh, that the word of God endures uh, forever. Uh, and what you do for God, uh, what you do for the Lord, uh, that will last uh, throughout eternity. seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. What did he say? I know. I know, thy works. I know what? Thy works. Did he begin to tell them about their works? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. He says, I know thy works mm -hmm. and thy labor. Yes. They labored. Yes. I said they worked in the ministry. He said, and I know your patience. Not only did you labor, but you have patience. Oh, it's going to get better. He said, and how thou can bear them, how thou, how thou canst not bear them which do us evil. You don't, you don't like iniquity, you just flee from it. Amen. I know your labor, your patience, and you don't bear evil around you. Mm -hmm. Thou has tried them which you got discernment. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. You got discernment. You've tried them which say they are apostles and are not. And has found them liars. Keep going. Keep going. And has borne, y'all see this? Mm -hmm. And has patience. Oh, come on, somebody. This is an awesome ministry. And for my name's sake, has what? Labor. It has not what? Amen. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Because thou hast left thy first love. See, God said, look at all the labor. 
but I still had something against him. Praise the worship team, oh Paul. Paul is standing at the top. Teachers down at the children's church. Come on, somebody. Elders in line. But I have something against you. Bishop preaching the word. But I got one thing against you. Come back to oh, your yeah. first yeah. 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 I don't care how good you can see. I don't care how much labor you know. He said, come back yes. Yes. to your first love. Amen. Can I show you what God's showing with us? Yes, sir. Praise, praise, praise. Praise is boasting, bragging, celebrating. Yeah. How is it there's no celebration on your list because there's something wrong with your love? Come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. Oh, that's that's that right there. How is it that you're getting wore out? He said, watch this. They didn't even think, but there was something wrong with the first love. How is it they? How is it that you're getting tired? How is it that you're tired of ministry? How is it that you're serving the Lord? But yet, come back to your first love. And God says, son, anybody can praise me. They labeled and praised me. Watch this. But it was conditional. Can I just help you? Yes. Watch this. Go and be there. Hallelujah. Go with me to John. He said, what's wrong with me? I'm just serious about this thing, man. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go to another level. I can't be held up by labor. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. There's got to call somebody. Yes. Go to John chapter 4. The woman at the well. Mm -hmm. The woman at the well. How many of you know that story? Amen. Let's see what Jesus said to the woman at the well. Verse 21. Jesus said from her, unto her, Woman, believe me that the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor at Jerusalem worship the Father. In the Old Testament, there were certain places you could worship. What is worship? Worship is to bow down. Amen. To reverence, Amen. obedience, to a movement of the body such as bowing down to show respect for someone. Amen. Worship. Watch this now. Show what it was. Prostration. Lying with the front of your body to the ground. In adoration or submission. Worship. Somebody say worship. Worship. Y'all better get this thing. God told him, he said, I am a jealous God. Amen. What are you putting before me? Because I should get the, you should be bowing down to me. Amen. Watch Amen. this, watch this, watch this. Somebody say worship. Worship. God told me, he said, son, in order for you to come back to your first love, it requires worship. Amen. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because a worshiper cannot have conditional praise. Amen. We say praise in worship, but it's really worship praise. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. may God yeah, give this thing. Yeah, yeah. Praise is an extension of worship. Yes, it is. Yes. If there's conditional praise, then there's no worship. True worship. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Let me keep going. Yes, sir. Somebody say bow down. Bow down. It's lying the front of your body to the ground in adoration. Adoration is showing great affection and devotion. Watch this. Huh? Praise is celebration. Worship is adoration. And without adoration, there's no celebration. Amen. And that's why you praise them when it's good. Praise them when it's bad because you're missing worship. Yeah. And there's so many of us, amen, that are laboring in ministry, no worship in your life. Oh, wow. Ooh. Let me keep going. I'm going to show you worship. What how important worship? Adoration, showing great affection and devotion. Watch this. 
devotion, a feeling of strong love, loyalty, yes. Hallelujah. use of time, money, and energy. Amen. Worship takes your time, money, energy. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Adoration. Something that I love. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Homage, respect, and honor. Someone that adores, love, and admire someone very much. To like or desire in a way that makes what well, to desire in a way to take great pleasure in. Mm. Worship. Amen. This is what worship is. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring it home. Admire to look at with enjoyment. Worship. What did he tell us? Come with Exodus 20. Then I'm gonna, we're gonna read a little story. Exodus 20. Yes, sir. Show you better I can tell you. Verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no what? No no God. God. Thou shalt not make unto thee any what? Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not what? Bow down. Bow down. Bow down. Nor what? Sir, sir. For I am the what? The Lord thy God. And, and what? Am a what? Jealous God. He's a jealous God. He wants your worship. Yes. Because presence in worship, the presence of God is there. Let's go back to Jeff. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Come on. I'm stirred up, man. Go to Judd, chapter 4, watch this. Judd, chapter 4. Watch this now. Verse 22. Ye worship and ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Jesus said the hour is coming, and that is, there won't be a place of worship. It won't be a thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It'll be a person. In Jerusalem, I mean, in the Old Testament, Abraham, when God called Abraham out, amen, he, Abraham left his country, and there was a place of worship, amen. Noah, after the flood, he worshiped God. It's, the scripture says he made an altar. Where there's an altar, there's worship. Amen, amen. Because there's a sacrifice. Come on, somebody. Amen. And you are the sacrifice yes. for worship. Oh, y'all better help me. Y'all better come on, somebody. Where there's an altar, there's worship. You can't have the Hallelujah. So it requires sacrifice in order to worship. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. When Abraham took up Isaac, he said, Me and the lad is going over yonder to worship. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't put Isaac before the Lord. Mm. Watch this, watch this. Ye worship, ye know not what. Ye know what we worship for salvation of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and what? And that the true worshipers, somebody say true worshipers, true true worshipers. worshipers. shall worship the Father in spirit, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. God said, I'm not seeking for laborers. I'm seeking for worshipers. He didn't say I'm seeking for labors. I'm seeking for worshipers. Amen. Worship. Come with me to Luke. You won't get this. So I prayed about this house. Amen. And you can look at me straight, but God said there's no worship. There's not enough worship. Corporately. So, I say there's not enough worship. Y'all see the reason why you're looking at the worship. Yeah. 
If, if, if there was worshiper, if there was worshiping, I'm not looking for numbers. God said they need to be worshipers. Because when there's worshipers, I add to the worship. Oh, yeah, Christ. Somebody help me. Because it's in worship, praise come forth. Come on, somebody. And God inherit the praises of his people when there's true worship. In your boasting, come on, somebody. God said, don't be moved by your circumstances. Don't be moved. There should be. If you are a true worshiper, son, then you should praise me at all times. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you. How is it? Come on, somebody. When someone comes to church, they should feel a presence. Amen. 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 Not just bishop, they should feel a presence from the congregation. Go with me to 10. 
look. Ma, ma, ma. Luke chapter 10 verse 38 two types of ministries y'all there? Amen. now it came to pass that as they went and entered into the certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who sat at Jesus' feet oh, yes. and heard the word. We have two types of ministries here. Yes. We have one that was at the feet. In other words, she was in a down position. She was in a position of worship. Amen. At the feet of the Lord. Both of them was serving the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, get this. One was at the feet, the other one was serving tables. Mm -hmm. She served the Lord. Watch this. Can I keep going? Yes, sir. And she had a sister Mary to sit at Jesus' feet and heard his words. But Martha was covered about with much serving, laboring. Covered means to draw away, to be distracted, yes. to be drawn about mentally, to be occupied or too busy. Yes. Let me say that one more time. Martha served the Lord. Yes. How is it that she's distracted serving God? Yes. Yeah. She's literally serving him. Yes, sir. But yet distracted. What is she distracted from if she served? Seems like it'll be a good thing to serve him. But the scripture says she was distracted. She was drawn away. What was she drawn away from serving God? Y'all get it, huh? Yes, sir. What's drawing you away from? Wait a minute now. She's not serving a man. She's serving the Lord, but yet thrown away. Working. She's occupied serving the Lord. It's boy, I've been at the top of the I said she's occupied serving the Lord. Drawn away serving the Lord. Yes. Distracted serving. Um, yeah. I said, don't. I, I, I can only preach to myself. I said, son, you, you, you're serving me. But I want something else. Amen. I know you're serving me. I know you're faithful. I know you're laboring. I know you can discern. Come on, that's what he told the church of Ephesus. I know your labor. I know you have not faded. But there's something else I want from you. Yeah, man. Yes, amen. That's good, sir. There's something else. There's something else that I want. Amen. Oh man, this is boy. Come on. Y'all looking at me strange. I'm getting scared up in here looking at y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up in the air. <laughs> Cause there's something happening on the inside of you right now. 
this is what you want. I, I want you. I don't want your labor. I want you. I want, don't Uncle Sam say, I want you. I don't want your labor. I don't want your praise and worship. I don't want your porters. I don't want the elders. I don't want the, I want you. Amen. She was distracted. She was occupied. I'm not even talking about your job, your kids. We're talking about she was serving in the church. The Lord. Oh, oh, Watch this. But Mary was in at the feet of God. She was bowing that she was set at his feet. She was in a low position. See, Martha is serving, but Mary is receiving. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all ain't getting this day, man. I say Martha is up serving. But Mary is low. Receiving. Because see, when he seeks worship, find worship. Oh, come on, somebody. God just don't seek and find something without giving it something. He said he's seeking what? Worship. His mother up serving Mary's down. Say Receiving and conceiving. Amen. She's at a she she in worship. You cannot worship and not receive from the Father. Amen. When you worship, you receive six strength to serve. Yeah. But if you're serving, she was distracted serving. Draw her away from worship. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's good, yeah. sir. Yeah. And the reason why I'm looking at a tired ministry. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all didn't want to hear that, did you? The reason why I'm looking at a bunch of tired folk. Because you're serving too much and not receiving. Watch this. See, when you're busy, sir. Yo, this quiet, yo. Come on, give me an amen, yo. Amen. Amen. Give me one, yo. You'll give me one in the toughest times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch this. But Martha was coming about must serve, and she came to him not to receive, but to murder. Say that again, Bishop. Martha came to the Lord. Who she come to? The Lord. the Lord, not to receive. First of all, she was in the wrong position. So she came murmuring and complaining because she was out of position. When you're up, it's full of self. When you're down, it's all about him. But when you're up, it's about self. When it's up, you're, when you're up, you're selfish, not selfless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was serving, and she came, she was covered about many things. And she came to the Lord murmuring. And she came talking about the one that was received. Mm -hmm. See, one that served will always complain about the worshiper. Wow. It, it don't take all that. Wow. <laughs> it don't take all that. You need to tell me they laid out before God that long. It don't take all. Yes, it do. Take all that. Yes, they do. Yes. 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 Watch this. She came and she said, Lord. Do you, don't you care? Look at all this labor I'm doing. Don't you care, Lord? I'm on the choir. I'm on the deacon board. I'm also sewing. I'm at every church event. Don't you even care? 
said nothing about Martha at the feet of God. But Martha's complaining about Mary. And Martha is the last thing on Mary's mind. Because Mary in the right position. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody. Ask the Lord why. You might not get the answer, but 
He'll show strength to you down there. Amen. 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 Yes. Some of you going through some changes in your life right now. Let him work on you. Amen. Let him work on you. Amen. Don't look at the, see Martha. Problem. She was looking at Mary, and the problem was in her. No. Martha thought Mary had the problem, and Martha was the problem. Amen. Oh, y'all. There's so many people that's not going to like Bishop because of what he said. But Bishop is not the problem. You are. Amen. Don't get mad with me if God give me the word, word to give to you. I'm just a mailman. Amen. Delivering the message. Don't get mad with me. I'm just a mailman. Amen. If you don't like the message, take it up with the one that sent the message. Amen. I'm just coming in your neighborhood like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> and delivering you a package like UPS. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Don't get mad with me. I like how UPS do it. Drop it off and go. <laughs> Knock on the door when you open the door. Here it is. Where did this come from? <laughs> That's all I Amen. Just giving you the message. Amen. But you know, I can't be moved by how you feel about me. Somebody. Amen. Somebody Come on. I'm just the mailman. Receive the message. God, God want to change your life. Amen. Amen. So when you serve too much, you miss church. Yes. Right. I'm tired, man. It ain't going to be. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired. But when you're a worshiper, mm. I got to get to the house. Amen. I got to get to the house. Yes. I got to get around the Lord. Mm -hmm. so, so, well, let me keep going. I'm about to close with this. Lord, do it not that I care that my sister have left me to serve alone. Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. Bid her, never command her. Therefore, the, for that she helped me. Tell her to get up from worship. And come and help me. Tell her to come down from, get up from humility. Tell her to get from that low state. Tell her to stop receiving from you. Tell her to get up. See, when you a worshiper, I like how my daughter says, she said, man, I ain't come. I, look, I work, but Sundays, that's it, I'm off. But I do not work on Sundays. So I, I know some of you have to, let me tell you something. If I got a choke band, I'm not working. Look, I need to be in the house of God. Amen. 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 I'm not telling you not to spend time with your family. Please do, because y'all know it. I'm all, but let me tell you something. God got to have preeminence in your life. Amen. 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 Sometimes you just got to come and lay out. Yes. Bow down. Yes. Bow down is this. Yes, sir. Prostration is this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 With your face on the ground. Yes, sir. Laid out before God. Yes. You can tell when somebody been around the Lord. Yes. Come on, somebody. They don't even have to say nothing. You feel something. <laughs> There's a presence here. Something I feel. God is squeezing you. Worship is coming out now. Yes. Worship is starting to come out. Yeah. At the feet, watch this. Watch this. Let me get close with this. Jesus answered and said, Martha, Martha, mm. thou art careful.
fearful or worried of and troubled about many things. Martha, Martha. Now she came. What I love about the Lord, he's not going to talk to you about me. That's what I love about the Lord. He's not going to have a gossip party with you. <laughs> she came to him about Mary, but he turns it around and said, Martha, 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 not just one time, but two times so you can know I'm talking to you. Martha, Martha, yes. you worried about many things. You sit here worried about Mary. Well, let me tell you about it. <laughs> You're troubled about many things, but one thing is needful or necessary. And Mary has chosen that portion. That part means portion. She's chosen that portion that cannot be taken away from her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What she chose is necessary. Now you notice he says she chose it. You got to choose to worship Jesus. And worship is necessary. But you got to choose to do it. Amen. Do you choose to worship? Yes. Amen. Yes. You said that part is necessary. You have to choose to worship. You're saying things are not changing in my life. Why don't you start worship with worship? See, anytime you go away from worship, you'll be consumed by other things. Yeah. And you'll find yourself just laboring uh -huh. and not worshiping. Just, yeah. And you'll hear, I know your works, but where's the fellowship? Yes. Do you even know me? What, what I love is when a saint of God start quoting scripture. Mm. When you hear them start quoting scripture, it's okay, Mr. Man, God, it's going to be okay, man. The Lord is with you, man. He'll never leave you, no for sin. <laughs> Spend some time with the Lord. Let's go. Thank you. It's time to spend time with God. You say, how do I do it? Why don't you just get on your knees? Yes. If you don't have anything to say, just bow down. Amen. He knows your heart. Don't you know we were where you was before? I was a baby saint too. All of us that are mature and grown up in God, we were babies one time. Yes. What did you do, Bishop? I got on my knees by faith. Lord, I want to know. I, I got to know this God that created everything. Amen. The Lord that, we call it the atmosphere, but God spoke it in the, 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 the earth is just standing on his word. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes. We serve the creator who created us. Amen. And, how, come on, somebody, I'm closing my heart. The creator wants you to have a relationship with him. Amen. Amen. Right. Yeah. I mean, are y'all listening to me? Yes. God, God that created everything. Yes. Me and my son was talking about the Lord last week when we were going home. He was like, wow. wow. I said, man, I love the Lord. I said, man, think about it. He created everything to me. I said, God, he speaks to me. He was like, he speaks. He was looking, and I started telling him how he speaks. I said, man, I started telling him situations I was in. I said, one time, man, God told me. I, he said, son, get up. 
It's a long time. Lord. He said, get up. Go talk to him. Jesus. And here I am quoting God's word back to him. You said, it's vain to be up all night. Where is it? It's vain for a man to be up all night. Let me go back to sleep. He said, that's true, son. That is true. It is vain when you're doing vain things. It's not vain talking to me. Get up. He gets you every time. You know, I used to ask the question, because everybody wanted to ask the question, why is the world like it is? How come people are dying? How come the good die young and the old live to be wicked? The wicked live a long life. And the good die young. How come? How come? How come? Lord, how come? I know his word says that, you know, sin entered into the world by Adam. Adam fell, and, and so death by sin, for that was for that death was passed upon every man, and for that we all have sinned. I understand what your word says, but I just ask you a simple question. Really? Why? <laughs> Not knowing that he was going to answer me. Wow. <laughs> I just said, man, this is what my faith believed God, and this is what the word says, and you know, I do that. But I asked him, why? <clears throat> he said, well, I got a question for you. If you were me, how would you create? Yes. Answer me, son. I said, well, hmm. I thought about it real. <laughs> he said, you. Tell me. So yeah, you know, I would create man like me. <laughs> he said, keep going. I said, I would create, you know, in my image, and you know, try to think real hard so I can trick him up, you know. Well, I would have did it like this, you know. I said, well, okay, I would have created man in my image. I would have uh, gave him his own will. Because I don't want to make nobody like me. Right, right, right. I want them to like me by choice. By yeah. choice. Keep going. But because I'm God, if I make him with his own choice, he's going to fall. But I've already thought it, so I'm going to do it. Because I want fellowship with him. So I would make him, give him his own free will, so he can choose to love me. Amen. But I already know he's going to fall. And that's going to require me to do a sacrifice. I'm answering my own question. Yes. Because I made him, now, now, if I give him a choice, then there is going to be evil. Yes. Okay. Come on. That's good, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't getting this thing. If I give you a choice to love me, if I don't make you love me, then there is no evil. You're going to love me. That's right. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> I got people like robots. I love God. I love God. I love I have to love God. He made me love him. No, I want you to love me. But I know you're going to fall. But I love you so much because you come from me. Mm. I'm going to have to redeem you. Yes, yes, yes. Because if there's good, there's evil. Yes. I got to give you some rules yeah. to see if you really love me. Go. I'm here answering. He said, Well, you sound like you sound like me, sir. <laughs> I was like, Wow. You're awesome. That's all I can say. And so many times he deal with me in so many different ways. He asked me a question years ago, who can humble like me? Six years of hell, when I came out to hell, he asked me again, who can humble like me? Here I am thinking he talking about somebody else. He asked me six years later, who can humble like me? I said, I didn't see nothing saying you thought I was talking about somebody else. I was talking about you. I look back and see how he broke me. Who 
can humble like the Lord. But who can love you like God? Yeah. I'm here to tell you God is real. Yes. Yes. He's not governed by time, space, or matter. He sits outside of time. He's I am that I am, the self-existing one. He has no beginning. He has no end. I like how the scientist said, he said, he know God is real. Because a computer could not create itself. Mm, man. There had to be a creator. God is real, you yes. And he wants yes. to have a relationship with you yes. and I. He wants you to brag about him. Amen. Amen. How is it that you're a child of God and you can't boast about your father? Wow. Wow. I'm tired. Oh, this world is weighing on me. But I have the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he is in the Lord. Yet he will more than a cover of Christ Jesus. Where's your praise at? Where's your victory? Where's your joy? Unspeakable joy. Where's your worship? He wants your praise. What are you going to do? Are you going to sit idle? You have a God in you that wants to love on you. Let me tell you something. When we change, the atmosphere change. I said, when we change, I'm going to do my part. Amen. I'm going to continue to do my part. But it's a collective thing. I tell you, when we have elders meeting, man, we hear mother and them over here just going, work. You might praise God different than I do. You might worship different than I do, but God wants worship. He know where to find your worship. Worship changes your life. Amen. Thank God where you at. Amen. The dead can't praise God. No. The grave can't praise God. No. The living, the living can praise the Lord. Come on, give God praise.